All right, everyone, welcome to the man on the moon. Now in today's video, we're going to talk about how you can purchase tokens through PancakeSwap using MetaMask. So it is going to require a few extra things. So let me go ahead and just list these first. So before you start hopping in, you know what you are getting yourself into. So obviously the first thing you're going to need is the MetaMask app, either on your phone or on your computer. Now in today's video, I'm going to do the tutorial through your phone. I figured that most people would rather have their cryptocurrencies on the go on their phones and probably will not want to have it on their desktop. So a lot of the walkthroughs I'm going to do today is going to be based for that. Now to get things initially set up and started, you're most likely going to need a computer at least initially to get funds into that app, but the actual trading or managing of those coins could all be done from the mobile phone. Another thing that you're going to need is access to the Binance chain wallet Google Chrome extension. So that's going to be a little extension that you can download onto your Google Chrome, onto any computer or desktop. That'll be a way that you're going to go ahead and convert the coin from the Binance chain to the Binance smart chain. And essentially the reason you have to do this is because MetaMask requires that we use the smart chain rather than the Binance chain, which essentially the difference between the two is that the Binance smart chain is a parallel mainnet that allows programmability. Now, if you're from outside of the United States and have access to or use the regular Binance app or website, so not the Binance.us version, you can actually go ahead and do the conversion from the Binance chain to the Binance smart chain in app on Binance and then send it to your MetaMask wallet, which I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to set up here later in the video. So this portion I'm going over about the Binance extension, you don't need to go ahead and use, you can skip this chapter of the video. So if you're coming from Binance.us, be in Bitmart or any other location, you're going to need to go ahead and send that to that extension wallet, convert it, and that's how you're gonna go ahead and fund your MetaMask account. So let's go ahead and do a step-by-step -step tutorial on how all of this is going to work. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna go ahead and do is you're gonna go ahead and download the Binance Chain Wallet from the Chrome Web Store. And then you're gonna go ahead and click the button over here, which is to add uh, that extension. However, I already have it added, so it's actually asking me to remove it there. But that's where the button would be to go ahead and add that Binance Chain Wallet. Once that's been added, you just go ahead and make sure that it's showing up here in the top right corner. Okay, so you're gonna also wanna make sure that you can go ahead and see that extension so you can access it. So you're gonna wanna click on the three dots in the top right corner of your browser. And then you're gonna wanna go down to settings. Once those settings load in for us, you're gonna wanna go ahead and click on extensions. And then right here, you're gonna wanna make sure that it's added. So if uh, it's not added, it would you click add here. In this case, it wants me to remove. So you wanna make sure that it's added. And then that'll appear up here in the top right corner with this icon. So I realized after recording this that I put my camera of me over the area where I was telling you guys to go ahead and click to access the Binance wallet. So I do apologize for that, but it is just behind here. On, on the screen right here, as you're seeing, is what it's actually going to look like. So all you'd have to do to access that is to go ahead and click it there once it's been added to your extensions. We can go ahead and click that. And it's gonna go up here and bring us to this place here where it says, welcome to the Binance Chain Wallet, secure and trusted multi-chain crypto wallet. If you already have an account with them, you can use an existing wallet. If not, we're gonna to wanna to go ahead and create a wallet, which is gonna be most of you here. Um, so you can either continue by signing into your Google account and creating an account that way, or you can generate a seed phrase. So let's go ahead and generate with a seed phrase. We're gonna go ahead and create a password. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make up a random password really quick for us here. Okay, that's just a random password I just made up on the spot. We'll click continue. It's gonna go ahead and generate for us your backup seed. Now this is essential. Anytime you go ahead and create any type of wallet, you always, always, always wanna make sure you keep track of this seed phrase, write it down somewhere. Um, preferably in the real world on a piece of paper and keep track of that. So I'm going to click here to, to copy that and I'm going to paste all of these here onto a sticky note for myself. However, I would suggest writing these down just for the sake of you not being able to see what I'm writing down physically. I'm going to leave this on a sticky note. Then we're going to want to go ahead and click on continue and it's going to ask for a few of these to make sure that you indeed copy them. And then once you put them in correctly, it will allow you to continue. But please don't share your seed phrase with anybody. I know that I showed mine here in this video. I am not going to be using this account. Please do not share your seed phrase with anyone else. So what you're going to essentially do is you're going to go ahead 
and switch over to your Binance Chain Network. And wherever you store your Binance coins, so your BNB, you're going to want to go ahead and send it to this wallet. So if you're using Binance.us, you're going to want to go ahead and go into Binance and send it to this wallet that way. If you're using something else like BitMart or whatever other account you're using, where you have BNB stored or you have purchased BNB, you can then go ahead and send it to this wallet here. So once you've purchased those coins in those other apps, you'll then send it here to this Binance chain network. And then what you're going to do is you're going to actually send whatever you send here, you'll send it to your other wallet in the Binance smart chain network here, which is going to have a different address. So you can copy that here and then go back to your Binance chain network. You're going to send it to there. So we can paste that address in, and then you're going to put the amount, which if you want us to send it all, you'll click on max, you'll click send. Once you do that, the coins that appeared here, will then appear in your smart chain network here. And you know that you've done that correctly. Okay. So that's the first step is getting all of your BNB set up here into this extension to get you all set up. Okay. So once you've got that all set up, you're going to want to go ahead and download the MetaMask app. Okay. So once you have your MetaMask set up here, you can go ahead and click on the three lines in the top left corner there. And it's going to take you over to your options here. So the first thing we're going to have to do is set up the main net that you're working with here because MetaMask automatically defaults to Ethereum. So what we're going to do is click on settings. Then near the very bottom there, it says networks. We're going to click on that. Now for all of you guys who have not had everything set up yet, you're going to not have that last option that I have. It's just going to be that Ethereum main net down to uh, that last one there with Goroli's test network. So what you're going to want to go ahead and do is click on add network at the bottom, and that's going to come up with these options here. And the information you're going to want to put in here is the information I have listed here. So if you need to pause the video here to copy this down, you're going to want to go ahead and copy this information. And then once you're done here, you're going to go ahead and click on add there at the bottom. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and close out of there. Okay. So the next thing you're going to want to go ahead and do is click the dot at the top and make sure that you go to your wallet. Okay, so once you've gone to this screen here, you can go ahead and actually add tokens here, and I'll get to that later in the video. So what we need to go ahead and do is fund your wallet. So if you're from outside of the United States and you're using the regular Binance, you're going to do it directly from there. And for everyone else, we're going to be using the Binance browser extension that we set up earlier. So in order to get the address you need to send to, it's going to be the numbers that are underneath your name. So if you actually click on that, it's going to say public address copied to clipboard. So what you're going to go ahead and do is send from your browser extension to this wallet, the BNB that you had saved there. So you're going to go ahead and send that to this wallet address. Once that's done, it should appear in here in your wallets. So that way, when we go over to swap here, which I'm going to show you next, you actually have funds to swap from. Go back up to the three dots there, and you're going to want to go ahead and click on your browser. Now, once you've gone to your browser here, um, you can go ahead and search or type a URL. What you're going to want to go ahead and type in there is exchange.pancakeswap.finance. There is autofill for me there. So it's exchange.pancakeswap.finance. You're going to want to go ahead and click on that or type that all the way in. Okay. And then once you've gone onto the page there, you're going to see a screen that looks like this. The first thing you're, want, you're going to want to go ahead and do is connect your MetaMask wallet. So what you're going to do is click on connect there at the top right. And you're going to click on MetaMask and it should automatically connect. Now, if it does not automatically connect. So this means that you're not currently connected to the right mainnet. So in order to fix this, go back up to the three lines menu at the top there. You're going to want to go over to your wallets. You're going to want to click the top there where it says wallet. And you're going to, want to scroll down to the Binance Smart Chain mainnet that we just set up. Go ahead and go back into the browser. Once you're back in on the browser, it already automatically connected me there. However, if you're not connected, you'll click on connect, click on MetaMask. And that'll appear there with those, those numbers there, which is your wallet address. And that means that it successfully connected. Then what you can go ahead and do here is you can go ahead and exchange any coins that you want here. So if you're trying to exchange a specific coin, you're going to need to know the coin's address, especially if it's not, if it's a newer coin or it's not a well-known coin. So you can go ahead and find that information on BSC scan or on coin market cap or on the website of the project itself. And then what you go ahead and do is you're going to go ahead and select currency and you would just paste the address here and it would automatically fill in for you. So I just found a random new coin and I'm going to go ahead and paste that in here and it's going to bring that in for me. So I chose a Brigadero coin. I'm going to import that. It's just going to go ahead and give me a warning here to watch out for scams, to make sure that you're trading the actual project that you're looking for there and to make sure that it's not a fake version. 
So where you're going to want to go ahead and click is I understand and import, and it should pull it in right there for you. Now, if your coin doesn't automatically show the name of the coin there, that's totally fine. It might just have a circle with a question mark in it. They may not have a logo entered in to PancakeSwap yet. That's okay. But just make sure that you're copying in the appropriate project address there. Now, another thing that's really important to set is the slippage. So if you see the little menu there at the top, next to exchange, you're going to want to go ahead and click that icon and make sure you set the slippage appropriate to the project. So for certain projects, you know, 10, 11, 12% is more appropriate. And in other projects, it's more appropriate to go down to 5% or, or something lower. So in this case, I'm just going to leave it at 12. Okay. So I can go ahead and swap for some of this here. If I wanted to use this as an example, submit this amount 0 0.0005, which would give me that much of this coin. I could then click on swap. It's going to go ahead and confirm the swap for me. I can go ahead and click confirm swap. It will make sure that the amount is correct. I can click confirm. And then it'll say the transaction is submitted. I can go ahead and click on close. It says transaction complete. Tap to review this transaction. And then boom, that amount should appear right into my wallet there. So I own that much coin. Now, here's a tip and a trick for you guys out there. So if you guys want to go ahead and see how much you have in your wallet there, because when you're set up here on the, B the Binance Smart Chain mainnet, it will not show your amounts. Now you can go to wallets here and see a list of all the coins that you own. And then you can add tokens by clicking add token button there at the bottom. And then you can go ahead and paste the same address you used before. So if we want to just use the same one I used before and I'll paste that in there, it'll autofill for me and I can add that token. And then it will add the amount of Brigadero I just purchased there into my list. If I wanted to go ahead and do that, I can do that there and it will show up there, but it's only going to show the amount that I have. It's not going to show that amount compared to fiat. So if you want to do that, let me go ahead and show you a quick way to do that really fast. So if you go back to your browser, you're going to open up a new tab. You're going to search for poocoin.app. So I'm going to click on poocoin.app. It's going to automatically check my browser before accessing poocoin. Once I'm in on poocoin, what I can go ahead and do is I can click on connect and then click on MetaMask and Trust Wallet. And then click on Wallet and you scroll down there. It will show you all of the amounts of all of the different coins that you own. So you can go ahead and keep track of your amount and your estimated wallet balance for all of the different coins that you purchased through this method. I hope that that video was helpful for anyone that's out there trying to learn to purchase coins and tokens. The same method will work for almost any coin that's traded on PancakeSwap right now. Just adjust the slippage amounts to the appropriate amount for that coin or token or it will throw you errors. If you guys have any questions or concerns, let me down in the comment section down below. Let me know what your favorite coin or token is that you purchased on pancake swap and if there's any upcoming projects that you're looking forward to thanks guys and i'll catch you guys in the next video if you believe we put a man on the moon man on the moon oh uh, uh this is awkward didn't know you're still here uh don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and of course click the notification bell bye